Let's make an interactive TikTok live stream for anyone streaming just from their phone. I'll show you how to trigger sounds when you get gifts, how to display your top gifters, how to play videos from gifts, how to set off smart lights and loads more. Now, although this guide is for phone streamers, you do still need a computer and that can mean a Mac, a Windows PC or a laptop. Even a low performance computer should be fine as long as it's Windows or Apple Mac. As you can see on this channel live right now, they're just using a fairly small Mac. Let's start with two really simple things you can do. The first one is playing sounds after you get a specific gift. And the second one is using text to speech to read out loud messages sent by viewers, followers or subs. We're going to use Tickfinity, which is free. If you're a Windows PC user, I recommend using the desktop app, which is in the description. If you're on an Apple Mac, you can only use the website. That's also in the description. Start by heading to the setup page, add your username into the username box, and then scroll down until you find the TikTok login and make sure you're logged in to TikTok. Let's start with a really simple page, which is sound alerts. Let's do an example where if a viewer sends a rose, it plays a fart sound. So again, this is super simple. Just click on sound alerts, click create sound alerts, type in your gift, or you can click the drop down list. Click on select sound. Once it's popped up, you can either click upload sound to upload your own sound, or we have the My Instance library of sounds built in. So you can search for whatever you want because the fart's popular. It's actually towards the top of the list anyway. So you just press apply. I would suggest these bottom two settings, play the sound simultaneously, max Q length, and it really is as simple as that. Just make sure your phone microphone is picking up sound from your computer speakers. Next up, let's make it so Tickfinity can read out loud chat messages that your viewers have sent. Now, because there's a lot of immature and silly people on TikTok Live, I suggest you set this to sub only and top gifter only. It's also just a good way to encourage people to sub or gift. Whatever you want to do, head to the TTS chat page, just check the enable box, then just choose who is allowed to use it under allowed users. Like I said, I suggest subs, top gifters, mods as well. Then decide how the message is triggered. For me, I'm making them type exclamation mark TTS followed by the message. And if they don't type that, the message isn't read out loud. You can just have it read every comment in this example from subs, mods and gifters. You can also put a dot or a slash. I also personally recommend you just scroll down a bit and change this advanced one to brackets username says brackets comment. And let's have a quick listen to what it sounds like. Test user says this is a test. I prefer that, otherwise it just reads out the message and you don't know who's saying it. Okay, so those two methods just used Tickfinity, but to get an even better looking stream, we do need one free piece of software. That is OBS. As you can see, it's on both Windows and Mac. I'll link it in the description. And we are using OBS to display things on the screen. For example, play a video when you receive a gift. As you can see on this example here, they've got a nice little like goal and a coin goal. So let's look at all the different ways we can use OBS and Tickfinity for an interactive TikTok live stream. So what OBS feature are we using to make it look like this? Well, it's just a small feature called the full screen projector. Now we'll look at the OBS setup in a second, but to get the full screen projector, you just right click your canvas, go on full screen projector and choose the screen that you have connected. Again, that could just be your Mac screen. It could be a second screen with a long cable running to a TV screen or computer monitor. Whatever it is, once you've got the correct screen, just choose it. And my OBS is now full screen. There's nothing on it because we haven't run the setup yet. So firstly on OBS, just skip any setup dialogue. It's not too relevant because we're not actually using it to stream or record. And then if you don't have a new blank scene already in the bottom left corner, just click the plus button and make yourself a new scene. I've named mine TikTok Live Phone Stream. Now, if we quickly cycle through all of our examples, you can see on their screens in the background, they've usually got an image or a video. This one has a basic gradient image and Jakey's got some sharks in the background of this one. So that's the first thing we'll do on OBS here. Under these sources, click the plus button. If you want a video background, it's a media source. If you want image or images, it's image or image slideshow. So let me show you both an image and a video. I'm gonna click image to start with the image. I've named mine TikTok Live Background, press OK and simply find the image. 1920 by 1080 will fill the screen. So I've just picked one of my AI generated images. If yours doesn't fill the screen, just click on it underneath sources and just drag it until it fills the screen. Let's now look at adding a video background again. Just press the plus button, choose media source. 
Again, I'm calling mine TikTok Live Background. Press OK. Make sure you check the loop option. That should be the first thing you do here. Then obviously just click browse to find your file. I don't really have a good one. I'm just going to randomly add in this Fortnite trailer. Once again, if it's not full screen, just click on it and drag the corners to full screen it. It's not really fully relevant here, but it's good practice to just mute it in the audio mixer. Let's now look at some different ways you can use Tickfinity with OBS. And it's pretty small here, but you might just be able to work out in this video, although it's disappeared for now. You can see in the background, he's got a list of top gifters. So let's look at how to do that. So it's actually really simple. Just head to the overlay gallery on Tickfinity, find on this list, top gifters. You can click test to see what it looks like. You can click customize to change what it looks like. And once you're happy, click copy URL. Head back into OBS, click the plus button, click on browser. I'll name mine top gifters and just control V to replace the URL. Now we're obviously going to pick some dimensions. I think 500 is a good width and I'm just going to full screen it. So I want 1080 for the height. Just good practice. I'm shutting down source when not visible, but it's usually only for something that makes sound. I'll press OK. Now there's nothing showing, but if I now spam click test, you can see it's now appeared. And because of my background, I might maybe want to change the colors in the settings. Worth noting also the test button only shows four. You can actually test this on other people. So if you want to test it on someone who's live, don't worry, it won't affect their stream. Click on setup, change the username. And once I've changed the username, you'll now see inside OBS, I've now got a live list of somebody else's top gifters. As you can see right there, I'm just clicking the squares in the corner to resize it. I can also hold Alt on my keyboard, drag up. So for example, here, I'm gonna crop it up. So it's just now showing only the top three gifters. You can also change that by double clicking and changing the dimensions here as well. So play around with the dimensions, play around with the resizing like this. And again, play around with the customize button to get it looking the way you want. And don't forget, if you are testing, just change it back on the setup page to your username. Let's now look at how we can play specific videos when we receive a certain gift. So in this example, what is about to come up is when this person receives a lion gift. Here it is. So the lion gift is appearing. Look on the screen behind them. I know it's pretty small, but you can now see they are playing a lion based video on the screen behind them. So let's set that up right now. And on Tickfinity, we head to the actions and events page. And again, in our example, we'll just copy him. So we'll do whenever we receive a lion gift, it plays a short video of a lion. To start with, we hit create new action. So we'll keep it pretty simple. I've named my action lion video. There is a ton of options here. You could show a picture, play audio. You could play a YouTube video. But the problem with the YouTube video, it is quite buggy. So I recommend downloading it and choosing the play video file option. Then all you've got to do is click select file and upload your video file. I've got a video of a lion roaring. Sometimes Tickfinity can be buggy. You might have to try a few different times to upload it. Anyway, once you've got it uploaded, we'll keep it simple. All we're going to do is change the duration to the length of my video plus one second to make sure that the end bit definitely plays. At the bottom of the page here, I'm going to keep it on screen one, zero second cooldown. I'll uncheck enable fade in or out. And I'm going to repeat with gift combos. That means if we're lucky enough to get two lions, it will play the video twice. If I leave it unchecked, let's say we get two lions, it would only play the video once. We certainly don't want skip on next action. Leave that unchecked. You can see we've got a warning. If you've got this warning, don't worry. Just ignore it for now and press save on your action. Next up, we need to link this video with a gift. So underneath events, create new event, sending a specific gift, type in lion or whatever gift you want. Underneath trigger all of these actions, choose the lion video. You can leave the bottom one blank and press save. Next up, we'll move to the overlay screen settings further down the page. Make sure you increase the max Q length to a thousand. You will probably have to type that twice. Next to screen one or whatever screen it says next to your video, make sure you click on the link to copy the URL. Now, if you followed the previous step, it's actually the same under the sources, click the plus button, click on browser. I've named mine screen one, press OK and just control V into the box. Now the dimensions here should be the dimensions of your video. 
So my video is only 640 by 480. If you can find a 1920 by 1080 video, even better. I'm going to scroll down, shut down source when not visible and OK. And nothing will be visible when you press OK. If you want to see where it appears, make sure you click on it. In the example we saw there, it goes completely full screen. So if it's not full screen already, just drag the corners to full screen it. In actual fact, the dimensions of mine mean it can't be full screen. So I'm going to center it instead. I'm just going to right click into the area transform. I'm going to center it horizontally. If you then want to make sure you don't accidentally click it, just press the lock icon. Now, obviously, we need to test it. That's really simple. Inside Tickfinity, you can either press the play icon next to the action or even better, scroll down to the event simulator, type in your gift, press simulate. I'm not actually going to play the sound. I'm going to leave the sound muted. But if I press simulate gift, quickly switch back, you can see my roaring lion is now on the screen. Now, as well as specific gifts, we can do things for a range of gifts within a certain coin value. So, for example, let's say you want to play a picture for any gift above 1000 coins. Tickfinity is really smart. So in our example here, because I've already got lion video set up, it would play the picture for everything above 1000 coins, except the lion video. For that, it would obviously just play the video. So let's do that now. We start on the actions and events page, create new action, name it whatever you want. I'll call mine 1k plus picture. You can probably think of a better name. Then obviously underneath all these checkboxes, you want show picture. I'm just going to choose a very basic picture which says thank you. Obviously, I encourage you to be more creative. As you can see, we now have an error. I mentioned this before. Unfortunately, sometimes the upload fails. So if it happens to you, just uncheck the box, check it again, press select file, and eventually it will upload. So I've been second time lucky. I'm now going to scroll down. And once again, the duration is important. So I'm going to display it for five seconds on the screen. I'm going to uncheck enable fade in or out. I'm once again going to repeat with gift combos. Worth noting, you might not want to do this. So for example, let's say you want to receive three galaxies, but you only want it to appear once on the screen. You just leave it unchecked. And then for three galaxies or 300 galaxies, it will just show the picture once. But anyway, in my example, if I get three galaxies, I'm going to check the box. So it will show the picture three times and then I'll press save. Once again, we have to link this picture to an event. So create new event. This time it's sending a gift with minimum coin values. And I said it would be a thousand plus. So I'll type that value in. Trigger all of these actions is the 1k plus picture. And I press save. Now we need to display it in live studio. If you want it to be in the same queue as your lion gift, then you just leave it on screen one. So for example, if you get both a lion and a galaxy at the same time, Tickfinity will put them in a queue and play them one after the other. If you want them to play both at the same time, then we need to change the screen. So let's move the 1K plus picture onto screen two. Again, in the overlay screen settings, increase the queue length to a thousand, click on the link and now add it into OBS as a browser source. So once again, I'll name it screen two. I'll paste it into the box. Choose the dimensions of the image. Mine is 1920 by 1080. Scroll down, shut down source when not visible and press OK. Again, click on it, resize it if you need to. And finally, in Tickfinity, you can again press the play icon here to test it. Or you can also scroll down and use the event simulator. If you are going to put them on different screens, probably not best to full screen them all. Otherwise, only the top thing in this list of sources is going to show. So what would happen here if I get both a lion and a galaxy at the same time? Because screen two here is on top of screen one, it will show the thank you image. And the lion video will theoretically be playing underneath it. But because they're both full screen, the viewers won't be able to see the lion video. So I've now shrunk down screen one and screen two. If I spam click play a few times on this, you can now see both of them are visible. Just depends how you want to implement Tickfinity and OBS. Next up, let's put some goals on the screen again. You can see this ice cream store has a light goal at the top of their max screen. And at the bottom of their max screen, they've got a coin goal. We can also do a follower goal. So for this, on Tickfinity, head to the goal overlay page. You can customize the number. For example, this is set to a thousand likes. You can change the title. This is where it says light goal here. You can set it to keep the goal unchanged. Increase the goal. So this will go from 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 or double the goal, which makes it even harder. You can also just set it to hide when you hit the goal. You can also fully customize it, change all the different colors and design. Once you're happy, click copy URL on whatever you want. And again, we've got likes, shares, follows, view account, coins earned, channel points earned. Then inside OBS, we are once again clicking the plus button to add a browser source. I'll name mine light goal, press OK and control V into the box. 
Now for the width here, I like a width of 600 and the height doesn't need to be more than 150 usually. Once again, just good practice to shut down source when not visible. You can see I've now got mine added. To make sure I don't click on the wrong things, I'm gonna lock screen one and screen two and click on the light goal. Of course, I can now resize it by dragging the corners. Again, as a reminder, if you want to actually add length onto the bar, just change the width instead. So for example, if you go to 800, that will make the bar a bit longer. Keep in mind for a goal, you probably need it quite big because it's a screen that's inside your camera shot. So for example, the ice cream store has it going all the way from the left to the right of their OBS screen. It is also possible for your viewers to control your Spotify. I've already made a standalone guide for that, so I'll link that one in the description. Let's go over what you need to do when you're getting ready to go live. And it's relatively simple. Once you've gone live, either on the start page or the setup page, you'll have a connect button. Very occasionally, you'll have to press this twice. If you're on Windows with the app, it will probably connect automatically. You then just leave Tickfinity's website or app running in the background, so I'll minimize it and head into OBS. And again, once you're in OBS, all you want to do is right click the canvas, full screen projector and send it to whatever screen that you want. Once you're done streaming, just press escape on your keyboard and you'll go back into OBS. You can also go ultra advanced and let your viewers control any smart device, such as a smart light that you own. You can watch this video here to learn more about that.